What's up, pipe smokers? Out in the shop on this early Saturday morning. We're gonna do another one this weekend. Hopefully this one's better than last week because it was very disappointing. David Dahl Flake Medallions. This one is from 2015. And uh, I've never had this, but what I've read on this over the years is that it's kind of like a knockoff of a Scudo. Let's get into it, we'll find out. Flake cut of finest Virginian Perique tobaccos with the core of Black Cavendish. And notice I didn't have to look like this. I got my new glasses. <laughs> Wait for it. Wait. I believe this is, if this is just a knockoff of a Scudo that, uh, if I remember right, this was actually a little bit more pricier than a Scudo, so. Very nice. Smells like uh, plums. Look at it! Very nice. They're already uh, definitely dried out. Not gonna have to let this sit very long. We'll uh, let this sit for a few minutes and we'll get into her. You see the wrapper underneath there, all them juices. We'll be back. And we're back. It's early out here, it's about 6 30, 7 o'clock. But the sun's coming up and the coffee's going down. This stuff's very nice, uh, very nice and smooth, and through the retrohale, I'm um, just getting just a little bit of tingling, really pick up that perique. Very nice, I forget what I said the age was, 2015. So, it's got almost five years of age on it. I always think five years is about the, a nice age spot with some Virginia blends like that. And I'm an idiot. I was digging through my cellar, trying to decide what I wanted to uh, review today. And I've been looking for a Scudo and uh, Orlick Golden Sliced Aged you know, with at least five to 10 years of age on them. And I come across three or four tins of Escudo myself that I already had from like 2011, 2012. So uh, I'll be cracking one of them open here really soon. That's what's nice with your cellar. You build a cellar like that and then you set it and forget it. You don't even remember what the heck you even had. something you might have liked or didn't like years prior and then you find out you changed your mind you do like it <clears throat> but anyway this david off medallions uh i like it i'm gonna have to check the price though to see if i'm right about that i believe you're paying more for the name Now I want to try and compare it with the Scudo, so I'll probably do a Scudo next week, aged five to seven years also, so we'll do a side-by-side -side comparison of that. So I'm almost willing to bet that the uh, Scudo is a lot cheaper, but we'll see. But yeah, very smooth, no tongue bite, fairly easy to keep lit. As with uh, all vapors for me, and plus it has a little unscented, unsweetened black Cavendish. With all vapors, usually for me, I get that sweet but yet spicy. 
That's what I'm getting out of this. I got a lot of replies last week on that uh, Robert McConnell's Maduro. And I, I still want to watch Ben's uh, Old Soul on YouTube's video on it. I, apparently he did a video on it there just recently, I guess. I'm not sure, but I didn't get to see it. I want to see his take on it. He had left a comment and said that uh, it was pretty bad also, but he didn't get the disgusting smell that I picked up. So I want to see his video. <laughs> Other than that, I don't have much going on. I'm going to uh, get a pipe made today as usual and watch some college football. Still hot as hell here. It was in the 90s here all week. And then with the heat index, it was pushing 100 with the humidity. And it's continuing this weekend and through next week as well. But yeah, David Off Flake Medallions. Definitely give it a try. I like it. Like I said, uh, before I give my final review on it, I want to check the price because that's one of the things that I take in consideration with everything is the price, the availability of something. Very nice. Hope everybody has a good weekend. Talk to you boys and girls later.